I probably wouldn't make it without it. Come on. Yeah. Tell it. That's what makes us and breaks us is the storm. Yeah. Amen. Without the storm, we wouldn't appreciate nothing over here. Come on. Come We'd on. be spoiled little brats. <laughs> Amen. Well, as usual, I didn't get a sermon about an hour before church service. I raise the Lord always voices the last minute or either I, I do. <laughs> either way it goes, thank God. Amen. Amen. I'm, the name of my sermon tonight is going to be personal problem. Let God help. All right. Amen. And we all have personal problems. Yeah. Everybody, you know, yes, sir. Every one of us there can tell a story about that. Right. Amen. But we are we are we're not immune to difficulties in this life because. They will always come at us no matter what. Exactly. Even putting all your trust in the Lord, you're still going to have problems. That's right. Amen. And difficulties. Right. But the good news is, no matter how bad they are, He'll see us through every one of them. Amen. So give us strength along the way. Yes. We just have to let Him instead of trying to do it our own way. Amen. Amen. That's true. I can't count the times that I've had a problem and thought I could do it all on my own. Right. Yeah. And today, I still find myself trying that. Yes, sir. Amen. But that's our flesh, our, our human nature is what we yeah. want to do. We, yeah. want, we think we know the answer, but God knows the answer. Amen. That's right, brother. We're going to be reading in Psalms 34, 19. Also, know that Brother David, only if we our problems destroy us if we let them. Come on. That's true. Come on. We dwell upon our problems, and the problem really gets bigger than it started off with. Yes, sir. Yeah. You're right. And that's because of our own mind. We dwell upon right. that, Brother Scott. Amen. We've got to build our faith Amen. in the Lord. Amen. Going through them trials is where our faith is. Yes. God, yes. the Lord's after faith. Amen. Come on. Billy preached the sermon here, I don't know when it was, but he mentioned the Lord's not after the waste money. Yeah. He's after faith. Yeah. Right. What, what's the Lord going to be looking for, looking for when he comes back with people? Faith. 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 Without faith, faith. It's impossible to please. Amen. You've got to have faith when you go through a problem or a trial too. Come on. You've yeah. got to have faith you're going to make it through this trial. Come on. Tell every it. problem, every situation, you got to have faith you're going to get to the other side. Amen. Yeah. Because if you don't have faith, you ain't going to make it. That's Come on. Right, you got to ignore everything around you is keep your eyes on God to make it. Amen. Yeah. <coughs> Psalms 34, 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them, delivereth him out of them all. Regardless of any circumstance we face or any circumstance we bring upon ourselves, for whatever reason, God will work it out for our own good. Amen. We have to completely trust in Him. God doesn't bring any trials on us that we can't handle. It may feel like we can't handle them. Come on. Come on but He'll put up notice that we can't bear. That's right. We do that to ourselves. Right. Yeah. We make the problem worse than it really is. Yeah. Come on. Most of the time we cause our own problems. Yeah. That's but there right. are times that the problem happened and you know, we had nothing to do with it. But yeah. God will help us through it one of them. Amen. Amen. That's right. I'm going to be jumping around here a little bit. Psalms 55 and 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants us to put all, put it all at his feet and yeah. trust him. We just have to be willing to accept his help. Come on. Come but we on. always become stubborn and hard-headed, and we tend to get the idea we can do it on our own. Right. Come on. When will we ever learn? <clears throat> I'm probably one of the hard-headed since here in this church building. But sometimes it takes the Lord to knock me around to get my attention. Come on. All as he gets from me. Because I can't do nothing on my own, Sister Reason. I have to have the Lord. Absolutely. I don't, I don't know what I would do without the Lord. I know where I would be. I'd yeah. be in hell. Come on. I, don't, I, I count on the Lord daily because he's, he's a sure thing. Yeah. Come on. Rodney lets Rodney down. The Lord doesn't let Rodney down. Come on. Psalms 27 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Come on. Amen. Don't concentrate on the problem and how big it is. Look up at God. 
for Come help on. because he is bigger than any problem we face or have. Come on. He will calm any storm just like he did when he was on the ship. That it talks about, you ain't got to go to the scripture, Mark 4.39, when it says he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. Yeah. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Amen. Uh, and later on he went on to say, Why are you so fearful? Come on. Come on. How is it that you have no faith? Yeah. You've got to have faith. No matter what. Come on. Just have faith in God. You're making it. Come on. God. And I've been going through a storm. Y'all know I've told. I ain't got a choice but to hold on to God. Yeah. And I believe you'll bring me through it. Amen. 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 We will. Guaranteed. I believe we're going to make it. Come on. We're just to have our faith in him instead of panic and he'll bring you through every trial. Amen. Amen. Psalms 118 and 6 says, The Lord is on, on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. Isaiah 40 and 29. I'm jumping pretty quick through here. I don't want to hold you up for two hours. Isaiah 40, 29 says, He giveth power to the faint, to them that have no might, he increases strength. Isaiah 41, 13 says, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. These are all scriptures pertaining to the Lord helping you through every trial. Oh. Every problem, he'll be right there with you. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And we've That's all true. been through the trial when we fell alone, but he, his word says he'll never leave us to forsake us. Come on. Brother. Just stick closer than a brother. Amen. Yeah. He did say he would go with us to the end. Right? Amen. Not just some of the way he gets tired of leave us, but all the way to the end. Absolutely. Amen. And, it, and that right there comforts me knowing that I'm going to have him no matter what happens in my life. The Lord's going to be with me. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 33 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, Amen. which thou knowest not. Yes. Even when we can't see the answer, we're needing. And even when we don't know how it's all going to work out, God will show us wow. and help us through. Help us through it. All we got to do is call unto Him. Come exactly. on. Because He says this, this whole book up here, this, God's Word tells us He's going to help us make it through everything. Amen. Yeah. To me, this is the answer. The yeah, only man. answer. It is. The only answer. Yeah. And that's what I learned to turn to when I, I get depressed mm -hmm. and I need help and I'm saddened and I find out a lot. This is where I get my joy. Amen. Come on. Because I know where happiness is. Yes. It's Amen. the Word of God. Amen. Joel 3.10 says, let the weak say I am strong. Sometimes it may feel like any circumstance that we're going through may never change. But our attitudes can turn, can in turn turn our change, can change our circumstance. Yeah. Let me say that again. Sometimes it may feel like any circumstance that we're going through may never change. But our attitude can in turn change any circumstance. Come on. Circumstance we go through is tough. If you got the right attitude, though, it can change things. Yeah. It can change the outcome. Yes, sir. No more. And, and a lot of times we pout. Or I can take me for an example. Then it ain't going the way I think it should go. What's the first thing I want to do? I want to pout. I get upset with God. Right. Come on. But then later on, I look back and see, well, I'm surprised. God, you knew what you was doing all along. Amen. Well, when, when I was in jail, things didn't go the way I thought they should go. Well, I thought I should have been out sooner. But after I got out, Brother David, the Lord showed me, and I seen exactly why it didn't happen the way I thought it should go. Amen. Come on. And I thank God for that. Because yes. If it was done my way, if it was done your way, what would we really have in the Lord? Come on. Where would our faith be? How strong Amen. would we be in the Lord? 
yeah. the Lord has to take us through the trials. Exactly. The, mud, the potter's wheel is tough. Yes. You know, but it's worth it. Amen. Amen. Every bit of it's worth True. it. True. I don't preach long sermons. That's probably the good thing y'all like. But if you didn't get anything out from what I preached tonight, one thing that I think we can all get is we must trust God and have faith in Him to get through any problem, whether it's big or small. Come on, oh, brother. The devil is an expert on taking anything small and making it look as big as can be. Right. Yeah. The devil, I always call him a dummy, but the devil, the devil really is no dummy. He's smart. Yeah. Because he knows it. how to get you. Absolutely. But we have the power to defeat the devil. Exactly. Amen. Amen. The Jesus. blood of Jesus Christ and the Word. Jesus. Amen. We just when when a devil beats us, it's usually because we lay. That's yeah. right. We gotta hold on to every trial. So we see it. Come on. We gotta make it. That's what it's all about. Helping each other make it. Amen. And I don't know what I'd do if people wasn't praying for this old boy. Because I wouldn't made it put be here today. There's a lot of prayer that goes up for a lot of people in this church. I thank God for this church. Amen. Come on. Because it's the truth. We preach the truth. Yes. You don't have to be voted in. Right. Come on. We read out of the King James Version. Come yeah. on. Which is hard to find anymore, really. Amen. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Getting the truth out. Come on. It's not a very big church with a lot of people. But how many was on the ark? Yeah. True. What was it, eight? Yeah. I've been around people that says, how many goes to the church? Billy talked about this too. And, you know, yeah. I tell them a small number. Oh, well. Y'all must not, spirit must not be moving or something, but they have no idea what they're talking about. Amen. Come on. I've been to the mega churches. I've seen what goes on. I don't like it. Yeah. Come on. Most of your churches, not all of them, but most of them in it for the money. For the oh. wrong reasons. Billy talked about that a little bit too. I mean, you, you can name all kinds of names out there that people's in it for the money. Yeah. Thank God for a 10 to 15, 20 member church that preaches the cross. Yeah. Amen. And Jesus crucified for our sins. And that's, it doesn't get any money. Amen. Give a hand for the Lord's words.